comentarista habitual de la CNBC, Boris Losberg, es uno de los operadores más reputados de Wall Street, tanto de la bolsa americana como de divisas. Ha venido al Forex Day, es el séptimo año consecutivo, ha estado en todas las ediciones y en esta ocasión ha hablado de la única estrategia de gestión de dinero que realmente funciona. Además, también nos ha dado su punto de vista sobre qué está pasando con la guerra comercial, sobre la reelección de Donald Trump el año que viene y sobre otras cuestiones que están afectando los mercados. There's no doubt that I think Donald Trump as a as a force, whether you, you think it's good or bad, is a very very disruptive force in the marketplace because he's so unpredictable. I think generally the highs for the stocks are in. It's very hard to figure out exactly when the drop will happen, but if you look at the current fundamental trends, there is a very clear slowdown in the U.S. economy and therefore it's going to be a clear slowdown in the Chinese economy. The two largest economies in the world are slowing down. And it's not an accident. They're slowing down because trade uh, negotiations between the two countries are really falling apart. And that's going to have a big impact and a transition that I think is going to take its impact on, 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 on the market. I think at this point the Federal Reserve is going to be forced to cut rates at least once. But I think the market is overestimating The Federal Reserve does not want to cut rates at all. They have a very small amount of interest rates to work with. The interest rates right now are very low. They don't have, they don't have a lot to, come to, to bring down. So they want to be very, very careful to use the rate cuts only in the most emergency, extreme-like conditions. I think at this point, they're forced to cut rates by 25 basis points because that's what the market expects. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to say, Just once. we're going to do one and cut. And, and if you notice, almost all the other central banks in the world yeah. are essentially saying the same thing. The European, the Australians, the New Zealand, they're saying, we'll cut it, but we're not going to just start a new cutting cycle. And that's because they're all starting from a very low starting point. And they want to be very um, frugal with their rate cuts. They only want to use those rate cuts if there is a true emergency. Because they're afraid that if they start cutting now, then they're going to have nothing left if there's a true emergency down the road. I think the US dollar is going to come down, especially if the US economy begins to slow down materially. Because at that point, the Fed will have to at lower rates at least a couple more times. The bond markets in the US have certainly priced in massive amount of cutting already. And one of the reasons why the US dollar is already uh, starting to come down, even though the US, European economy is not so well, is because US yields are so low at this point. If we break the, the, uh, the two, uh, uh, you know, the 2% level on a 10 year, that's going to really put a lot of flow out of the US dollar um, as we go forward, you know? Um, there's a lot of, um, There's a lot of unpredictable things about the U.S. dollar that's, that's very, very hard to say because the U.S. dollar right now is not only trading on the economic flows, but on geopolitical flows. You know, it's gotten, ironically enough, it's gotten sort of like the worse the situation in the world has gotten, the more the U.S. dollar attracts safe harbor flows. Yes. But there may be a point in time where the world decides that the U.S. dollar is no longer the repository of safe harbor. And